guys, so today I thought I'd do a different kind of video and you guys give me a lot of recommendations and suggestions and just ask me to try a lot of things. So I just thought I'd do a little video entitled, You Guys Made Me Buy It. And I love most of these products. So uh, anyway, if you guys like this video, I have a lot of things you guys suggested I try and I've tried them. So I can do a part two if you want. Just let me know. Okay, first up, we've got the Astera Adobear 365 Day Cream, which I love. It is so thick. It's mentioned by quite a few of you guys. Kathleen, T. Fart, Famer, and Grace NG all uh, recommended I try it. And I love this stuff. So it is so thick. And I'm really glad I tried it because it is just wonderful, especially for winter time. Uh, look how thick that is. It just is thick. It's wonderful for evening. And it's just a great moisturizer all the way around. So I'm really glad you guys suggested I try this because this brand had not been on my radar at all until you suggested it. Now I love it. So if you're looking for a really wonderful thick cream, this is great. Highly recommend you guys check it out. So thank you for recommending it to me because otherwise I just, you know what? I know about a lot of brands that exist, but I don't know about all of them because there's so many of them and there's always new ones coming out. So it's nice to be kept in the loop by you guys because I just I don't know everything so why is this person said don't be, or the fool in the room said they know everything or something what there's like a saying never listen to the fool in the room that says they know everything I don't know whatever something <laughs> there's always a well whatever okay I'm just gonna stop now because I'm looking like the fool in the room and I'm really good at that Next up, recommended by Snow Giraffe, the Isn't Treat Sika Cream, which I really love as well. I just did a Isn't Treat evening routine video, and this stuff is wonderful. No fragrance in it. Good Sika ingredients. It's getting harder to find, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'll link to it below at Style Korean. They have it. Uh, anyway, really like it. I love Sika as an ingredient, and this stuff is really nice, and I love the packaging they use too. So highly recommend checking that one out. Next up, rec mentioned by Tunde For Easy. I think that's how you say it. Tunde For Easy. Uh, the Heimish Watermelon Gel Soothing Cream. This stuff is a wonderful, it's almost like a sleeping mask because uh, it's got just this wonderful gel texture, which uh, actually it kind of, the texture and just how it looks reminds me of the, uh, the uh, Clinique Moisture Surge. Just that pink kind of gel texture, but it's really lovely. And I really like using it in my evening routine or on my neck. Uh, it's a little bit better for me for the summer. In the summer, I can get away with just using this. In the winter, I can layer this with other products, but I really do like it. It has no scent to it, but lovely ingredients. Uh, and you get a giant tub of it. How many ounces is this? 110 milliliters, so it's almost four ounces. And it's really affordable too. So, and even better if you can get it on sale. Okay, next up, mentioned by Freedom Life, the Altrino Tretinoin Lotion, which I had never heard of until uh, she mentioned it to me. And I was very excited to try it because she knew I had very dry skin. She knew I'd tried Tretinoin before and didn't have good luck with it. And when she saw this one come out, she mentioned uh, it might be worth a try. And I'm so glad she, thankful she did because I probably would never have even tried it or even thought to try it because... My uh, experience with tretinoin was not a great one. It was very drying and it just peeled the heck out from my skin. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to stick to retinol, retinol, whatever. And that's it. And then this stuff made me, made me question everything I thought about tretinoin in the past. So if you have had dry skin and didn't have great luck with prescription tretinoin before, the Altrino is a, one to try uh, just because of how they formulate it. Uh, it makes it so it's much less drying. So... There we go. So thank you, Freedom Life, for that. Next up, mentioned by Junette Mc, McCurdy. She comments a lot, but I always just think of it as June. But anyway, hopefully I said it right. right. We'll see. Uh, the Holika Holika Pantha Bible. Uh, she mentioned the line, and I saw the line, and I thought, oh, I have to pick up the cream because I instantly, I need, I always need creams. The Pantha Bible Vegan Cream. It's kind of pricey, but it's really wonderful. And it's a nice thicker moisturizer with uh, some good ingredients. Panthenol obviously is in here. It feels really soothing on skin. The line, I think they have four products in this Panther Bible line. It's kind of pricey, but if you can get it on sale, it's even better. So I really like using this. It works well in my morning routine as well as my evening routine, but it's thick enough in my morning routine 
that I can use it, but not feel like it's uh, going to leave me like feeling like sweating under the skin or like too hydrating for morning. It's just perfect. So I really like this. I will link to it below. It's really nice vegan as well. I think the tube is plastic, not plastic, paper. I went through this in another video. I think it's paper. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Okay, next up, uh, mentioned by Don Dieter. This is The Lab by Blank Do Prebiotic Serum Liquid. Uh, and it's really nice. It's a prebiotic product with no fragrance in it. It's a nice, wonderful liquid texture to it. I've just been able to try it out a little bit because I she mentioned it recently. So I finally picked it up and, you know, I think it took a while to come. But anyway, it's kind of like a liquid toner cream texture to it, which is really nice. And the bottle's gigantic. It has no scent. It's pretty affordable. I will link to it below. Um, yeah, so I'm finally just playing with this one now. So I'll definitely, if you guys want me to do a full review, Don probably will. I will do that. So just getting into that one now after I've uh, finished testing the uh, polyfrog toner. Okay, a couple more for today's video. We've got mentioned by Audrey Howler, the Manuel Bifida Ampule, which is wonderful. The bottle of this one comes in is pretty large too. Does it say 50 milliliters? So 1.7 ounces. So it's almost double the normal dropper bottle style. And this one is a Bifida prebiotic type product as well. Really nice. Bifida is a great ingredient. No scent to this one. It's a little bit pricey, so keep that in mind, but it's a really nice product overall. And then last but not least, a new, another new recommendation mentioned by Posh. I don't know, is that Posh Spice? Spice? Spice Girl? Cameraman's rolling his eyes. Don't talk about the Spice Girls ever again. Okay, that is the peak. I know. I can't help it. I'm good at that. We've got the Peking Yo Calming Moisture Balm, which is a thicker version of their uh, moisture cream, which I just reviewed probably about a month ago. And uh, uh, Posh mentioned this as well as if several other people did too, that this one is worth a try. And I'm recently testing it out and I really do enjoy it, especially on my neck, because it's a little bit thicker than the cream version, a little bit more friendly for dry skin, while the cream version of this is a little bit more friendly for uh, normal or oilier skin types and this one has uh, no scent to it as well and if you can get on sale it's even better because it's pretty affordable when it's on sale so there we go so this is the first edition of you guys made me buy it um uh, yeah so interesting hearing from you guys what else you want to make me buy <laughs> leave a comment nothing <laughs> leave a comment because i need to try more uh, anyway, love hearing from you guys, and uh, if you like this video, let me know, and I'll make more, because I have more that you guys made me buy. So, anyway, thanks so much. I will see you guys more tomorrow. Bye, guys.